right, guys, it's Ron, singer from Montreal. I'm not going to be singing today. I wanted to do a vlog on the topic of, like, flea markets, garage sales, thrift stores especially, and the wonders and the joys and the values that you find in. So I'm going to show you guys a good example of that. Be back soon. Guys, so I'm back. So I'm going to start with pawn shops, okay? This bat, okay? I wanted a bat for softball. So this bat was worth, I'm pretty sure, about 175 bucks, okay? And to know it was quality, it said it was NCAA college approved. So I knew it was like a wicked bat, you know? 60 bucks, you know? So there's a find. Now this was really important to me, this microphone, okay? It's a Sennheiser microphone. And I just remember quickly, like I had an audition for a band that it was not like I needed one because they, they were provided at this studio we went to. But just as a suggestion from them for me to actually own my own. And I thought, you know, they were right. So I did. Okay, now this, this Sennheiser is like worth 200 bucks. I got it for 60 bucks because the guy was doing a closing out sale. So there's a gem. Now, these are really cool. Oh, my God. I've always loved CCM products in the first place, okay? These, okay, were worth 250 bucks at the time. Again, 60 bucks. Oh, my God. I was drooling to own these. And what's freaky is these were a model that Saku Koivu of the Habs liked to use, you know? And it's funny because I haven't even tried them yet. I've had them for like three years, you know. I gotta try them one day, you know. And this over here, this was a game that I had bought when I had bought my PlayStation a while ago. Imagine pinball, guys. Like, you know, how would you find pinball? So I like that, you know. So next, see, I'm a singer, okay. And I've always searched for clothes that I think would look really cool on stage, okay? So I'll, I'll start, I guess, we'll, we'll start here with my Chanel t-shirt, okay? I love this thing. I've always liked Chanel cologne in the first place, but what makes it super special is it actually says Montreal here. If you can see it, I gotta get out of the light. But it actually is like personalized Montreal. You know, I love this one, you know. And then this one is just so cool all on its own, okay. If you guys notice, she has no cigarette. It signifies she's smoking hot. So I thought that would look really wicked on stage. Because me, I really like to wear cut-off t-shirts and vests, you know. And then when I saw this, guys, I could not believe... That someone gave up this Marilyn Monroe shirt. So when I saw it, I grabbed it like so fast. Oh my god. This with the vest on stage, man. Oh yeah, you know. And like I said, like I like vests. So this is actual black velvet one here. And then here I have this really gorgeous one here. It's hard to see, eh? And, but this was the one that grabbed me the most, was that I really wanted a jacket that was gonna... Hi guys, I'm back. I had a little mix up there at the stop for a sec. But I was just talking about a jacket. Check out this coat, okay? There's this band called Camelot. And the guy was wearing a coat just like this. With the nice extra buckles and the way it goes finer in the waist and the way it's all cut, I just freaked out. I felt I couldn't believe I found that. That was like ten dollars, guys. Okay, and then down here, I have spandex for say nights I want to wear my black leather tights. So I have that. That's all value, like five bucks each or something one day. And this is a a, a bracelet that I had found and I never realized it was an owl. It took me like a couple of years to realize it was an owl. My friend Tito would love that, you know? And then I've got pants, you know, obviously, like all stuff for stage, you know? 
So that's really it for my stage stuff. So now I wanted to get to, you know, like, well, let's do sports, actually. Sports, okay, here we go. Okay, this is from thrift stores, okay? This goalie mask, okay, easily goes for about 150 bucks. I got it for 10 bucks, okay? This tennis racket itself, I love John McEnroe growing up as a boy. He's my favorite tennis player, okay? And when the aluminum racket, you know, kind of started, this was one of the latest models, but it was designed and backed by John McEnroe. And I got this for $6 at a little thrift store down the street from me, okay? And this badminton racket, okay? I have a nice Suji already, but I figured if I had two, like, for a guest, right? So, this one is a high-end Carlton, and this was at a ridiculous five bucks, and I'm sure it's worth easily a, a, over a hundred bucks, okay? High-end Carlton. And this was freaky to find this, okay? A racquetball stick, okay? Next, okay? This, I needed a volleyball glove. Look, Rawlings, high-end. This was about six bucks. I couldn't believe that. Okay. Uh, Rawlings again. Catcher's chest protector. Eight bucks. D this, this alone would be about, I don't know, we'll say 75 bucks. And even this glove new, okay. We're talking again, a hundred bucks, okay. Then I find this gorgeous CCM helmet, okay, which I love CCM, okay. And look, it has an iTech shield that it came with already. So the iTech alone would be around 25 bucks extra, okay? The helmet itself, I don't know, 40, 45 bucks then, you know? And this was like $12. I even got a batter's helmet, okay? Cooper Battle helmet, okay? It's adjustable, okay? Unbelievable what you'll find, guys, okay? And now... Here, we'll find games. This is from thrift stores, okay? This is uh, my games. Even really good music for a buck here. And all these video games were two bucks, okay? Now, here we got interesting. You guys are going to like this. I think you might laugh, okay? Pucks were like 50 cents to a buck. Now, my theory as an athlete, if I want to train, okay, any of you guys... Who would want to have one, like, ball to hit and go have to pick it up? And then one puck to shoot and go have to pick it up? No, 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 no. Me knowing the value that I have, I must have about 30 pucks now. Here's a, here's a softball for that, that softball bat I talked about earlier. I've been collecting these. Every time I see them for around a buck, mostly two, I get them. I must have about 35 softballs. Now, this one's wild, okay? I would usually get about six tennis balls for about a buck. I swear to God, guys, I must have a hundred tennis balls, okay? But think about it. If you go to the court, and like I said, you have three tennis balls usually in a can, and you have to go retrieve those. No, 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 no. Me, the way, that's the way I've been thinking lately. That's why I collect. So like I said, I think I have about a hundred of them. So it would probably be, take me, I don't know, like, half an hour to, to hit them all to one other side right and then I figured out a way to collect them already in an easy way but that's my theory you know and me like I like badminton you know and this I got like a can like for a buck and they're high-end Carlton like you know that's a badminton name brand you know and it even goes as far as you know trinket things like me I love football you know so this was a buck and I adore Lamborghini cars, okay, they're my dream car, you know. So this red one here was like four bucks, and the yellow one was like a buck, you know. And then we come over here, and I have some other things. I'm a huge Boston Bruins fan in hockey. So this, I'm sure, would have cost, uh, I don't know, $40 maybe at the arena. And this was a ridiculous three. And I'm a huge New York Jets fan in football, okay? 
This is really cool. It was a Budweiser offer hat. Boy, they really make nice stuff, Budweiser. I got to admit, because this is a really gorgeous Jets hat. Okay. And I'm a huge Adidas fanatic. I think my family members are going to laugh because I've always got Adidas on in some way. Oh, my God, you know. So here's some wicked shorts, okay. I'm sure 40 bucks or 50 and these were $5. It's like Clima cool and everything, okay. And being a huge Adidas fanatic, I found these gorgeous Adidas suede, okay. Actual suede. You know, it's incredible, the finds. I'll be back with the conclusion. Hi guys, I'm back. So in conclusion, you know, like I showed you, I'm not too proud to be, say, seen in one of these stores. And it's a shame because some people are too proud to be seen in these stores, okay? And I'm going to give you guys a really cool story, okay? I had a friend, and his name was Jamie Flood, and his father was the manager of April Wine, a very successful Canadian band from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, okay? And they were quite wealthy, trust me, you know? So when I visited his house, I mean, their basement, they had, like, the pool table and the bar, everything, okay? It's even funny, like, be before we had left, like, she said, are you with your three friends? She said, gave him a hundred bucks just to treat us. But that's not my point. I was just throwing that in. But it was funny. I was in the kitchen with his mom. And I noticed she was looking at the specials and the flyers. And I said, well, why? She goes, well, why waste money? And I was like, wow. I said, wow, you're, you know, an incredible woman. That, that's, I took that as a life lesson right there, you know. Uh, that, that's a really good one, you know, and like I said just before, you know, it's a shame if you're too proud. There's so much value, and I've had found so much gems, you guys, you have no idea. Like I just showed you now, like, uh, top quality brand names. So look, you know, I'm giving the advice to parents that are on a low budget. Man, you guys should go... To like, especially Village de Valeur, like Value Village, you know, or uh, Salvation Army. And I'm telling you, you might end up with super high-end quality stuff for your kid, you know. That other parents may be like, wow, that kid has nice equipment, you know. It's true. Never be too proud about that. It, it, it's a gift that we have. And like I said, I take advantage with my, my stage clothes thing. And all this sports stuff and everything you could think of, you know. It's a gift to, to enjoy, you know. So that's really my point. Ron Singer from Montreal. Much stuff to Facebook and YouTube. I'm out.